Hello everybody, my name is Louis Riel. Let me tell you a little about myself. I was born at St. Boniface in the Red River Settlement. I am the eldest of 11 siblings. My mother was white and my father was Métis. At the age of 14, I went to College de Montreal. I had a broad education in many languages and sciences. In October 1869, the Red River Resistance started. The Hudson's Bay Company sold Rupert's Land for, to Canada for $1.5 million. Can you believe it? Canada started making decisions for Rupert's Land like there was no one living there. Many stresses were concerning the Métis during this time. Crops failed, buffalo were declining, and Canada was making decisions about the Métis land without their approval. Everyone was so upset. The government sent surveyors to check out the Métis land. On one famous occasion, I stopped a surveyor from entering my cousin's farm. William McDougall from the Canadian government in Ontario even tried to enter Rupert's land, but we Métis pe people set up a blockade to stop him. We had to take action. We took over Fort Garry, a major trading post at the time. Not a single shot was fired when the fort was taken over. We are a peaceful people. At Fort Garry, we declared that a provisional government be made. I, Louis Riel, became the leader. Later, we did have a proper election. Again, my people thought I would be the best person to lead us. Later, a group of settlers from Ontario tried to overthrow me and my government at Fort Garry. The Métis and I arrested and tried these men. One of them was named Thomas Scott. He tried. He was tried and executed by firing squad. Someone had to be an example. The Métis can't be pushed around. As the president, I could have saved him, but I did not. This made many people angry at me. In the end, the Red River resistance ended with the Manitoba Act, which made Manitoba a province and not a territory. This act was essentially a compromise. Later I fled to the US because I feared for my life. The Métis, my people, started over in South Branch. While they did this, I was still hiding in the United States. The Métis at South Branch knew they were going to face the same challenges they did at Rev Red River. Settlers kept coming, and the government was once again ignoring them. Who did they think were the original people on this land? We should all be treated equally, but we are not. The Métis people sent petitions to the government, but they were all ignored. While I was in the United States, I started a family. My wife and I had three children. Life was good, until Gabriel Dumont, a Métis man, reached out to me and asked for help. I couldn't say no. I packed up my family and went back to Canada to help. I took over Batoche with the Métis from South Branch. At first, no troops were sent. We declared provisional government, but when we did, the Canadian government sent troops to stop us. Six hundred troops in all. One hundred people died. The Battle of Batoche lasted three days. After the Battle of Batoche, I turned myself in. I was tried and condemned for the murder of Thomas Scott. The jury found me guilty, and the judge sentenced me to death. I was executed and I will always be remembered for fighting for the Métis race, culture, and most of all, identity. I am proud of the life I lived.